Welcome to the segment of the ASI Outreach Hangout. In this discussion, I would like to put forward some thoughts in terms of visualizations of cutting-edge astronomical data in uh, planetarium kind of software as learning student projects. And this is something which would be very uh, useful for us as a group of educators uh, amateur astronomers, students interested in astronomy, astronomers interested in outreach, for all of us to put some efforts into this direction in terms of various planetarium software which may be accessible once, inter one in terms of what is accessible as a desktop planetarium, but two in terms of what is accessible in real dome planetaria within the country. Now, there are a number of planetarium software out there and each of them implement uh, different kinds of astronomical data, not just stars, but various kind of uh, astronomical objects, starting with, of course, the deep sky objects of the most interest to amateur astronomers like Messier objects, Colvin objects, etc. And there are also implementations of um, astronomical survey data to some extent in different uh, planetarium software. For instance, we at the Nehru Planetarium New Delhi have a, a digital sky software system which uh, implements uh, and I think there are several other planetarium software, uh, dome planetarium so implement dome this, planetarium. which is uh, the digital universe developed by AMNH. And this This incorporates several surveys like uh, SDSS and uh, two mass and it shows a lot of Tully Fisher databases. So it has from solar system in terms of some 3D models present. They, these are rendered accurate models but not totally based on uh, real data. For instance, it has 3D models for Pluto also before the New Horizons mission and things like that. Then it has a uh, database for the stars and uh, for many galactic uh, objects. For some, uh, for a few, it has some 3D, 3D models, but for the most part, it is images incorporated in particular locations. It has database for what we may see from Earth. It also has a three-dimensional uh, 3D universe data. So where uh, a lot of astronomical data is pinpointed as points in space which have information both with respect to what we see from Earth also in terms of location in space. So all of this kind of data is incorporated in this kind of software and there are many software perhaps one of the best where uh, you one might get a very good feel for um, doing this kind of work and also reaping the rewards of implementations of various kind of uh, such software, such databases is Microsoft Worldwide Telescope which already has implemented in it real astronomical data in several wavelengths and uh, of, from from some surveys. It has SDSS, it has Chandra X-ray uh, data and it has a lo large amount of data of this kind where real astronomical images are incorporated in locations in space wherein we can view them from Earth and also we view them closer and there is an overlay in the same part of the sky where you see different uh, data from different wavelength ranges, whatever are incorporated, there is an overlay of that which you can zoom and view. So there are many advantages to this. Microsoft Worldwide Telescope also has a planetarium version, although not incorporated anywhere in India as yet I think. Well, we are certainly hoping to have an incorporation of that sometime soon. And uh, then there are several small planetaria, I think mobile planetaria, which uh, incorporate stellarium in the planetarium dome format. And that's another very useful and I, I think that is something which many amateur astronomers in India have had uh, attempted to do, various incorporation. Certainly when a new comet or something is uh, in the news and it is, uh, it is creating some excitements, 
I have seen that many amateur restaurants have been implementing this and helping each other trying to find out where it is and also figure out how to implement this in the software and so on. So that is one. And so Microsoft Worldwide Telescope and Stellarium being open source uh, resources would be very good to be uh, undertaken as projects in this. On the other hand, at the moment, if we want to also incorporate this inside a real dome in a planetarium in India where people would be coming in public, visitors would be coming in and viewing it. So, uh, what we have in our planetarium, this is one where there is certainly a possibility. So, this is something which we should go and work in these directions. For us, it would be a learning process about the details of these databases and uh, on the other hand we will also be contributing to outreach from our efforts and so if some of you would uh, on the other hand if you would like to uh, help us here in Delhi and perhaps in uh, other planetaria too of incorporating these data in our own dome softwares well we could work together uh, some part of the scripting we would have to do here in Delhi for instance ourselves wherein we uh, put in the code for implementing this data in the dome. On the other hand, generating the text lines of this code for large databases is something which anybody from anywhere can do and uh, then give us this, uh, just the text output, which could then be input into the code which is being done in our own software. So there are students who have worked, there is Devan Shagarwal who has done very nice, uh, very useful work in terms of incorporating the entire, which means currently available entire data from the TIFR GMRT Sky Survey, which is uh, an ongoing project at GMRT, uh, surveying the entire sky at 150 MHz. And uh, the, this data through uh, software coding has now been incorporated into our daily planetarium software and since it has been done uh, through a coding process, once there is a much larger database available, this process could just be implemented once again. So as and when there are updates in this data. So this is the kind of process which would be very, very useful. This is in terms of survey data. So the survey data would be uh, one static picture. It's just that it is, we are trying to look at the whole sky or whatever parts of the sky. The survey itself has looked at and get the original data. Of course, given the nitty gritties of the software implementation in a planetarium, maybe we cannot use the entire resolution of the data when we are looking at the whole uh, database, which has happened, for instance, in what our TGSS implementation. So when you are looking at the whole sky, there is slight degradation of the data when it is being incorporated. On the other hand, special look at individual data uh, could be done at much higher resolution. Perhaps as uh, uh, planetarium software also become more and more uh, adept at handling uh, such large databases, uh, all of this data could be incorporated and in as is there is condition. This is survey data. 